Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Halcyon 6. You ever have that feeling like something is trickling or moving inside your ear? Could be like a drop of sweat or a hair or something with legs. I don't know if you ever have that feeling. So the autosave is the most recent by 20 seconds or so. Federation shuttles can gather resources, but they aren't the best combat option. Oh. Oh, interesting. Right, let's go to build ship and check out Federation shuttles. Federation. Federation shuttle. Oh, powers. Pew, pew. Ah, <laughs> Build time one day. Very cheap to build. So we could build that as a ship for our third officer. Oh, well, that is something we have to think about is um, what kind of third officer we're going to get. I guess we're going to get engineering. You know, that's the way the game plays. I was doing it with two science before, and it was pretty cool, but we're going to go with the sort of spread they favor now. Uh, so we can build the knight. Let's go to our tech tree and see if we have enough resources to research any extra engineering starships. The warder. We don't have enough by five to research it. Yeah, and there's other... Oh, we could research a different tactical ship. Okay, your ship engineers have designed a new tactical ship, the Marksman, that can be built in the ship construction bay, and we could research that. I'm going to save our materials now. Um, so we've got a seven-day task, and we've got a 30-day emergency, and then we've got all these other messages. Okay, that's our event queue. And... Okay, some cadets have gained reputation, so we're just gonna close those. Officer promoted, Ibrahim Medici. Oh yeah, he's been promoted right under the ground. Lucas Beaumont was promoted. Federation survivors detected at Hulse Taylor. Didn't we do that? I think we did that. Yeah, it's a fuel station. We've been there. We've been there. So we can close that message too, I think. Yeah, so we've just got the one notification. And then we've got all these different missions. And we've got 30 days for the Cat's Eye Colony. So we are going to go ahead and gamble and try to finish our training. Commander, we currently only have 193 crew left on Halcyon 6. If the station reaches zero crew, then all is lost. Halcyon 6 will be destroyed if bombarded down to zero crew. Acknowledged. Okay, so we got to pick up crew. At colonies or whatever. Oh, shoot on a... Dork! Sir, a pirate fleet has arrived in our system and they're preparing to bombard us. We've picked up some of their chatter. First pirate. There's no comparison. Coot is definitely the strongest candidate to replace the Admirax. Second pirate. Let me get this straight. You'd trust that mutant Exlar to continue the Admirax's legacy? First pirate. So what if he's a little unstable? You weren't at Scorpius. You didn't see that maneuver. He. Second pirate. If we're talking piloting skills, why not Willa then? First pirate. To me, it sounds like someone's a little biased against the Exlar. Second pirate. Listen, say what you'd will about yablings. You can't ever doubt their profit motive, right? First pirate. Hey, I hear you. Anyone except Savak, right? That collective thing gives me the creeps. Second pirate. You said it. Okay. Commander, that was the extent of the communication we were able to intercept. The pirates have since taken bombardment position against our station and have opened fire. And so you're aware the bombardment is going to cause crew loss over time. When our crew reaches zero, oh, there's the arrow for it. The station will be taken over, our mission will fail, so we are going to have to get these guys now, even though we've got guys on tasks, so that's really a disappointment. So I don't know if we get any of our task time back, but we're sending the Nabulon fleet immediately. Oh, yeah, we have to. And I think we'll spend the Dark Matter on full repair. So, orbital bombardment. Enemies that take up position in the starbase approach area will begin bombarding the base over time, resulting in crew death. You should immediately do everything in your power to dislodge them when this happens, which we will do. Oh, they're already opening fire, the nasty brutes. They 
definitely got the first turn. Well, we're going to bend space on our uh, tactical ship and increase its speed. And then it's going to do crippling shot on Buddy here. Wrecked him up pretty solidly. And then it's going to just follow it up with a second crippling shot just to be nasty. That missed. That didn't. We need to do something about these pirates, something drastic, like destroy them. Portal cannon. Down he goes, and this guy has option for crippling shot. We're not even using our combos, we're just wiping them out, basically. And since he's sped up... Oh no, he's no longer sped, he's just fast. Okay, well we took him out. That's annoying that we got interrupted in our tasks. We've got 50 materials and 65 dark matter. Uh, ooh, Lucas Beaumont gained structural engineer. I know how to make this ship stronger. Space combat health plus five percent. Now that's pretty sweet. Officer promoted Lucas Beaumont. Beaumont and officer promoted Nariko Jaeger. They both got level ups. Uh, we need to return to the station right now. In transit to Starbase. Oh, okay, we already are. And what about our tasks? I guess they're totally wrecked. Yeah. So... So if we put him on six days... Oh, so maybe we did get the uh, time back. And what was she doing? She was doing a uh, mod on uh, the... Oh, I can't remember which one it was. Acolyte. Time or 15 days, uh, or no, it was the rogue. We were doing the enforcer on the rogue. So if we add the officer Nariko Jaeger to that, confirm task. Yeah, we did get our time boost. So that's pretty nice. At least we don't lose that. That's really awesome. And our ships didn't get mauled too badly. Okay, Commander, the hangar tier in Tier 1 has completed its task acknowledged. We're just going to let that be finished and not... Well, wait a minute. How many days are left? He's got three. How long will it take her to explore a thing? 16 days? No, we don't have that time. Oh, would you like to start the task before leaving? Weird, no. Um, okay, we're just gonna go back and finish his officer training task so we can decide what kind of ship we're gonna build. Commander, we have a situation at the officer academy. Go to location. Uh-oh, the students at the academy managed to get their hands on one of the top secret Federation officer teacher's manual and are horrified at the actual survival statistics of most first-year officers. It's led to a crisis in morale. And I can fund an immediate rewrite or cull the whiners. Well, we don't need officers who are afraid of death. Cull the whiners. Figuring that any students willing to all read off limits materials lack the discipline necessary for the position, the concerned students are reassigned to less key positions. Lucas Beaumont gains no experience materials. We lose 15 fuel for some reason. Acknowledged. Uh, I don't really understand that. I have 32 fuel remaining. Uh, I guess we still haven't finished our officer making task. Okay, the officer academy has completed its task. Commander, the new candidates are ready to be selected. So we are going to pick engineering. We've got gold attack Ahashi again, the, the gifted mechanic. She's got broadside salvo 1, quick tune-up 1, and ramming speed 1. Those are pretty good. This inflicts hull breach. This is self-healing, and that inflicts... Oh, that inflicts Hullbridge on yourself. It's got very high damage. Exploits engines down. We've got another ship that causes engines down. So, Golda might be our choice. I'm a little tempted to re-roll and see. What is this? Oh, we can change her name. That's interesting. I'm a little tempted to try re-rolling and see what we get. I'm going to try it. Edith Clarkson of Engineering. 
So she's got broadside salvo, reinforce hull one on self, and supercharged polarity one. I don't like it. Uh, she's extremely attentive to detail. She's got a Kirkish Haymaker for ground combat. She's our girl. While the Federation's Engineering Corps is famous for their meticulousness and attention to detail, Edith Clarkson takes that characteristic to the furthest possible extreme. Out of sheer principle, she once legendarily refactored the entirety of the TFS Archimedes fusion control to reduce drag by 1.5%, despite it having a little literal zero net impact on ship energy production. Yeah, that's our girl. Thank you for the opportunity. You won't be disappointed, sir. Okay. Let's go to our station view. I think all our officers are free. We've got three officers. Two of them have leveled up. We're just going to do that right now. So he can unlock more space combat with his one skill point. Spin maneuver or warp atomic structure. We're going to leave those alone and leave his skill point on. And... Uh, Skills, traits, bio. We'll look into his traits more later over time. So she's got one skill point to use, and she can gain backstab maneuver, which inflicts ship disable, cloak one, which cloaks, or weapon supercharge one. Oh, choices. Choices. Cloak sounds pretty amazing. It really does. But ship disable, you gotta have, so. Well, wait a minute, then everybody's taking it, you know, so no, she's going to go Cloak. She's she's the commander, and she gets to choose, so she's taking Cloak. Okay, that's that for now. Done with that. And now we have to gather enough materials to build another ship unless we have them. So let's just check ship construction and see if we can build an engineering ship. The Knight is the only one. We could research the other. It costs 60 and 400. We can build it. Um, gee. And if it costs 60 and 400, well, that leaves um, 40, 65 left. Let's just see about researching the other one quickly, because time's not passing right now. So, research the warder is 80. We only have 65 left, so... Oh, that's a shame on a shingle beach. Because I bet the warder's totally better, eh? Maybe we can quickly score some materials. Let's do it. Okay, let's go take a look at the warder and see what it's like. Because you don't get to know until you've done the research on it, of course. Warder. We'll compare it to the knight. Um... So the warder has 800 hull, 100 aim, 3 evasion, 40 speed, 39 to 72 damage. And it's got disintegrate hull, which exploits crew panic. Disable countermeasures, which inflicts vulnerable. And repair drone, which works on a single ally. Um, and it's 65 and 350 to build. So we'd need to get 20, but we have enough left. So let's compare, compare. So the knight has less hull and worse evasion. It's got negative three evasion. Speed is 45, so it's faster than the warder. Damage is 42 to 75, and 39 to 72. So the warder does a little bit less damage. Um, has a little more hull and a little more evasion. Well, these are tough decisions. We don't have enough to build either one. We now need to go get 20 materials somewhere. Uh, well, let's go get our 20 materials quickly. Star map. Here's a materials cluster. Um, it looks like it's pretty much the closest one that's not defended by anything. Launch the fleet. Don't bother repairing. Lucas Beaumont is reporting that materials mine in theory is at ruin in ruins. Um, next. Gosh, there's a Krull fleet right there. Deadly. Used to be the site 
of a materials mine, reporting that the mine has been rendered worthless by the cruel. All of the miners appear to have been killed in the attack, however, records show that they were due to send a large shipment of materials to New Terra. The materials could still be in storage on the mining facility. If we sent a team, we could beat back the cruel and return them to Halcyon 6. Beam to refinery. Uh, so we've got Noriko Jaeger, Lucas Beaumont, and a cadet deploying against a juvenile cruel spiker who has flail, rabid, and spike twirl. He's vulnerable to electrical and resists psionic deploy. I think we can take him. He's got 110 hit points. He's no wimp. Should I do mass paranoia on him? Yeah, I think I will. This Beaumont leader likes mental fighting. Yes, he's confused. Oh, he's doing something nasty. Oh, he's turned rabid, apparently. Slice and dice one inflicts bleeding 75%. Nariko, do your thing. Oh yeah. He resisted the bleeding. And she's got a laser pistol and a drone attack, so we're gonna absolutely just use that drone attack up as fast as we can. And it did some pretty good damage. Now this guy's gonna do his standard radiation pistol. And oh, he gets banged around, not bad. She's got slice and dice left, so she's going to try it again. And he's reduced to one hit point, so he's going to take emergency meds. And this guy's going to finish him down with the laser pistol. Blows his head right off. Good work, cadet. Legendary work. 33 rewards and 20 dark matter. We can get the heck out of here. We managed to retrieve a full shipment of 53 materials, Commander. We should return to Starbase now. You're darn tooting. We got exclamation points all over the place. We've got to build a ship right away. Just absolutely immediately build a ship as fast as we can because we've got so many troubles. Resources retrieved. Materials 53. That should enable us to build either the warder or the knight. And there's the question. Well, the knight has flak barrage, deconstruct, which inflicts hull breach 95% of the time. That's pretty amazing. The knight is pretty darn good. The warder's kind of slightly cooler looking in its way. Uh, tough call. I think we're going to take a knight and construct it, even though we researched the warder. So we're going to take a knight, construct it. It's got three days left to build. Let's see if we can do a three-day task around this place, eh? Um, let's see if we can... No, no, I don't think we can do a mod in three days, although we'll assign our top officer to it and see what happens. So... So we're building a knight. We can do the knight juggernaut upgrades. Uh, hull and damage 10% or blitzer, aim and speed 5% or aim 15 and speed 5. We've got the dark matter. Now if we put our level 3 officer on, it takes 7 days, 7 remaining. And only 3 to build the ship and we've got to get out so let's cancel that task. And let's go back to the station view, and let's see if we can't uh, explore down here. And let's send uh, no, no, let's send Lucas because he can heal. Um, two days, perfect. Explore room, and I don't know if we should risk any other officers on exploration right now, actually. Yeah, because they can't heal, so. Let's get out of here and fast forward our time speed blaster. Commander, we are dangerously low on crew with only 81 crewmen left. How did they get reduced? We've got to get crew on our next mission. Okay, I get it. We need a ship. Oh god, there's a fleet coming. Commander, we've cleared out that sector you asked for. Acknowledge, thank goodness we didn't have to fight. Objective complete, expand the fleet, so that was us building the new ship completed. And that should mean we can go to ship management. And we have a knight, so we're going to rename the ship the... That'll be good. And we're going to 
assign an officer to it, youth clerks in level 1 engineer. And they get crew too, so I guess that comes out of the crew we have. So, and we didn't do a night upgrade because we don't have the ability to do it right now. These guys have little victory stars on them. So the Bathyphus, the Bullhogger, and the Beeble Zabble are ready in the Nabulon fleet, and everyone's in pretty good shape. So we'd better take a look at what's going on here, because uh, we've got messages. 14 days left, so we'd better pick up some fuel, send a fleet, and Nabulon is going to get the Beeble Zabble at it, and we will launch to the fuel depot. The new Beeble Zabble, blah, 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 blah. I already did it. I already did it, I already did it. Yeah, I hope my fleet's intact and not all messed up. Where are we? Oh god, there's Krull moving around. Taking on 41 fuel. Leave system. Now we've got to get to that message. So, Cat's Eye Colony deep in space. So we're sending a fleet to attack a medium strength Krull force here. So deep into space while the cruel predate on more and more of our planets. Another Federation facility dress distress signal. Cruel engineering ships. These dense and stocky cruel ships are composed of layers and layers of thick chitin-like armor and so are particularly suited to ramming attacks. Cruel tactical ships. Equipped with spike-shaped biofuel propelled missiles, these quick-firing fast ships can import large amounts of damage, impart large amounts of damage in a short amount of time. Cruel science ships, able to stretch the regular bounds of reality, these vessels are regularly able to conjure up interdimensional chaos portals which wreak havoc on heavily hulled ships start combat. Oh god. Oh man, they're firing right away. Hull breached. Um. I'm not loving that. Uh, I'm gonna upload virus immediately. Right, yeah. Got them all. Sensors offline. Lucky. So that should slow them down for a bit. And uh, this guy can cloak for five rounds. So we are going to cloak the bullhogger. And this guy's flak barrage, deconstruct, or shock mine. We're going to go with deconstruct. And we're going to go for the weakest of these. Uh, there's curl spikes. And... Uh, Adult Clipper Cruel. So we're gonna deconstruct. We breached his hull. Dodge that. Dodge that. And now we're going to bend time on the cloaked bullhogger. We will now fire. Er, we got anything that breaches or exploits hull breach? Not really. Um, so we're just going to fire a crippling shot. And it is pretty good and powerful. It resisted the effect of it. But we can follow it up with another because we've been quickened. And now we could deconstruct him again and that'll probably finish him. So why don't we deconstruct this guy up here. With our drones breach his home. And then the portal cannon exploits hull breach, so we'll fire the portal cannon there and exploit the hull breach. And then we'll just return a crippling shot to this guy and finish him. And then we'll take another crippling shot on this guy. Just about finish him off. And then we'll fire deconstruct on this guy. We should probably do our healing now, actually. Instead of exploiting all these breaches, we should definitely get healed. Because we might have more combat to do very shortly. Oh, thank goodness. So, we're going to finish off the little guy. That's good. And then we're going to do another heal down here. Hopefully we'll get this guy down fairly fast now. He's still got a lot of hit points left, though. I think I healed early. Well, it's crippling shot again. 
didn't do enough. Did not do enough, so we'll portal cannon him. Explode the hull breach, get extra damage. We'll deconstruct him to inflict a fresh hull breach. This is good. Uh, we've taken hits. Crippling shot in return. He's getting low. We'll portal cannon him. Now he's now he's pretty much one shot. Do we have a healing? No, we don't. So we're gonna one shot him and kill him. Oh, it didn't one shot him. So has this guy got healing? No. We'll just cloak, which is ridiculous. I'm just trying to scrape out that last heal to get our ships up to standard before we... Oh, well that was a mistake. Because now I don't have any healing left. And he died doing that. Okay, my planning wasn't perfect. We got good rewards. 100 and 182. Okay. Commander Lucas Beaumont's fleet made contact with the Dark Matter Extractor at Cat's Eye, patching you through now. Nice. I'd say we... Extractor Overseer, I'd say we officially abandoned all hope around last Tuesday that we'd ever see another Federation fleet again, so imagine my surprise when I caught your signal this morning. What, have, what we have here, Commander, is a fully functional Dark Matter Extractor. While we wouldn't mind being extracted to your station, it sounds like Dark Matter might come in handy for you. Taking that into account, we'll stay here and keep extracting until you say the word. Um, six Dark Matter a day generated. They're in a pretty cruel, dominated region. Um, we're going to leave them for now and hope they don't generate too many more distress signals, because we've got to go respond to ETA colony under attack immediately. Uh, so we're going to go there. And we're just going to attack this, thank goodness, somewhat smaller, cruel force. We've got enough fuel left. Um, so, yeah. It looks like we're caught our eyes and call right away. Great stuff. Weapons disrupted. Uh, we got a multi-enemy thing? No. Uh, what does our best damage? Harass does great damage. We're not exploiting our combos or whatever. We're gonna have to learn a bit more about that. Uh, we should have started with the little guy. I'll deconstruct him. I shouldn't have shot at the big guy. Oh man. So we're gonna speed up the bullhogger. I don't know, maybe I should be speeding up a different ship. We'll figure it out as we go. We're just learning. But now the bullhogger gets all these brutal crippling shots. Oh, it got healed by the brood pods of the other one. Well, we'll just take another crippling shot at it. Didn't do that much. We'll deconstruct it. Breached hull. And then the portal cannon explodes breached hull. So that finished him off. Got a crippling shot ready for this young aberrant here. Okay, they're doing some damage to us. Uh, we've got different things we can do here. Let's try harass. Their sensors aren't offline. Right, we should have done that. Oh well, we did very good damage with that. And now we'll hull breach him if we can. Yes, we did. So we'll exploit that with the portal cannon. Get him right now. Because he's doing. Horrendous damage will return crippling shot for that. And then we're going to cauterize hull on the beetle's head. Yeah, it didn't even fully heal her, but she is going to deconstruct hull on that. Wow, these things are brutal, and then crippling shot in return for that. And then we'll just fire again on it and finish it. Even though we're a little bit damaged up, it's the best we could do. See, when I first played the game, I was fighting with two healing ships, so I was able to keep my full hit points at the end of each round. It's kind of an advantage, but we did all right. Uh, we've made contact with the Dark Matter Extractor at ETA. Uh, the Federation scientists in charge of extracting dark matter from this pulsar heroically offered to remain at work and store dark matter for your use. Alternately, if you prefer, you can choose to evacuate. So we're going to take 110 dark matter, and since they had it done already, uh, we're going to take their 75 crew, because we desperately want crew. So we're going to evacuate this one and uh, leave it desolate. 
even though it's rather close to us. We're going to check our... Whoa, we've got a lot of messages here. Officer promoted, Nariko Jaeger. Reputation gained, Cadet Zoe. Reputation gained, Crewman Crichton. Reputation gained, Crewman Chekhov. Officer promoted, Edith Clarkson. New distress signal at Ita, we just dealt with that. Officer promoted, Lucas Beaumont. Officer promoted, Nariko Jaeger. And Cat's Eye, we just dealt with, so that's good. And we've just got the pirate mission stacked for the moment. And we've got three ships, so what we need to do is probably drop off our resources pretty soon, pick up some more fuel. Oh, what's this? What's here? Oh, it's at full capacity, that's why it's got an exclamation point. And here's a Kroll fleet which we could probably handle right now as we stand, and I think we have enough fuel to take it, so we are going to risk everything. Uh, first we're going to promote. Yeah, can we gain anything really good? No. Uh, we'll read this because we haven't. Formerly a prestigious academician at the new Kharkiv University, Lucas Beaumont elected to leave its relative safety to join Federation Command after losing a debate with himself in a series of dreams he had after tinkering with some meta-universal barrier weak spots. At least he thinks it was himself. Nonetheless, he's found that being in likely death situations helps cure him of his sometimes crippling social awkwardness in ways that even the best adreno stims can't replicate. Oh, I like him. So, we're not going to use any of his points up. Let's see what Noriko can get. Um, she can get backstab maneuver that does ship disable, so we're going to take it. And uh, Edith can take broadside salvo, reinforce hull one, or supercharge polarity. Gee, I think she'll go reinforce hull. Reinforces your hull. For five rounds, 20% against incoming damage. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty reasonable power to take. We'll just go with it. Okay, so we've promoted our folks back to our star map. We are going for those guys. I believe we are going for those guys. We're going to try to close that crow portal right now. I think we. it takes us 20 fuel to get there. We'll make it back. We'll make it back. Ah, oh, we're not fully repaired. Commander, the Krull fleets that are harassing our remnant facilities have been detected emerging from interdimensional portals in and around Federation space. Continue. Now that we have a full fleet, we should investigate these portals and attempt to shut them down. The longer we wait, the more Krull will pour out of them. Show location. That's where we're heading. The Krull have opened a portal in the sector. If the Krull keep the portal... Yeah, let's go get it. We're going. Commander, a radar raider fleet is bombarding the station. We should send a fleet to defeat them as soon as possible. Oh, dude. That's mean. Yeah, not happening, boys. Orbital bombardment from pirates. Well, maybe we can take this opportunity to try to heal a bit. Something like that. Let's uh, wipe them out as quick as we can here. Uh, let's upload the virus on them. They all resisted. No, one of them went sensors offline. Wow. Um, let's try our new backstab maneuver on this fellow and see what happens. Disable the ship. And we got anything. We don't have anything that exploits that on this one, so. We'll hull breach this guy. We're getting peppered. Um, then we'll exploit that hull breach. That does that. Uses the fire we're gonna take, so we'll hull breach this guy. And we'll exploit the hull breach. Then we'll just take a crippling shot and polish him. Up. And uh, we'll hull breach him. I want to get some healing in. I don't have much chance. 
Who's the worst jab? Take this guy. So we'll try to do non-combat stuff as much as we can here and try to get another heal in. Yeah, good. So we'll get the people's out, we'll heal it up. That's really a bonus. Oh well, it's gonna be light damage, right? And uh, yeah, we'll just finish him off right now. Black Barrage. That's the end of him and we're in better shape than we were. We could go to the station and heal, but I think we're gonna go deal with that. What is all this? Gain Pirate Hater, Lucas Beaumont. I don't like them one bit. No, sir. Damage bonus versus Pirates, 10%. Uh, lot. Wait, 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 wait. Noble Federation opponent, you have proved your worth as a noble and brave combatant. And I, Lot of the Zlar Xanthu, Yanthu, once served four years in a state facility for aggravated bravery. That's funny. In fact, you are so worthy that I, Lot, he who jumps kicks sharks, bestow upon you my greatest secret, the location of my materials hoard. Well, that's nice. You'll want to follow those coordinates right away, I'm sure, so uh, just ignore my escape shuttle. It's just nothing to see here. Move along. Oh, okay. We're going back to those... Um, right now. Do we have the fuel? No, we don't. We're going to have to pick up fuel on the way. We'll stop here. Resources crew retrieved. Uh, let's go to our location, please. I know we're carrying the crew. Oh, no. A Corzan delegate has arrived. I'll put them through to you. Okay. Human friends, greetings from Onir and the Corzan Consensus. Many commiserations to you and your people, Commander. We came as soon as we sensed the tremendous outgrowth of psychic torment from New Terra. By now, I'm sure you too have discovered the terrible tragedy that has befallen your race. The Federation is crippled, and you, my child, must pick up the pieces. But be heartened, human, for Onir will aid you in whichever manner you desire. And we can say fantastic. Resources and ships would suffice. Or why am I suspicious? Let's say fantastic. Resources and ships would suffice. Of course we can't offer you physical aid, per se. We were more imagining counsel, advice, an admittedly scaly shoulder to cry on. More in that vein. I could say, oh, I see, or and what kind of counsel are you offering? Well, of course we can't offer you many visions of the future. That would be highly destabilizing. And, as you know, we would run counter to our sacred task of guiding and pruning the continuum. But there is one piece of premonition we may impart upon you, if you will accept it. I can say, you know what, we're pretty busy right now, or sure, lay it on me, sure, lay it on me. Do not trust the Collective, or the Exlar, or the Yabling. They are conspiring against you to seize your station. In fact, don't trust anyone except your friends, the Corzan. That's it. Oh dear, is that the time? I fear I must be off. The Collective must be promptly warned of a terrible, terrible mistake it is about to make. I do apologize, but extra extrasensory knowledge is a heavy, heavy burden. Please do come by O'Neill sometime. The desert air is deliciously dry this season. Okay. Uh, we're back en route to our... Yeah, so... We gotta get fuel. We got 25 fuel. That should just, just do it. And we've gotta get these guys. Oh, I hope we have the fuel. Yeah, it takes us 14. We're gonna have to get fuel on the way home, I guess. Oh, and we're damaged. We're going after them. Damaged or not, we're fighting them. Okay, engineering, tactical, and science. Start combat. Oh! Hull breached. That is just unfortunate, man. We're gonna go bend space time on the people's apple. See what we got. We'll try it. Okay, so the people's apple's up and running. She's got no self healing capacities, but she can do crippling shot on one of these smaller guys, so. Oh no, sorry, that wasn't the people's apple firing mistake. Oh. Uh, she's gonna do reinforce hull. See how that helps. The beetle's out. Reinforced and she's got another turn so she's gonna deconstruct on this smaller spike here. Breaching its hull. Uh, she's taking more damage. A critical hit. Uh, we're gonna just exploit that with the portal cannon and then 
finish it with a crippling shot just to reduce the amount of fire we're taking. Because we're taking a lot of fire here. So um, this ship is going to return a deconstruct for that. Boy, she's looking rough. Oh man, we're getting in bad shape. We need to cauterize hull. I should have launched the virus to start with, eh? Um, wow. This is pretty brutal. Uh, wow. What a play shot it is. Resisted. The damage we're taking is terrible. Deconstruct on it. Hull breached up here now too. Well, we're gonna just exploit that deconstruct. Oh, we didn't get much damage. Crippling shot to follow it. Just about. Oh, they got healed by brood pods. We'll breach its hull again. It evaded and breached our hull. Okay, we're uploading the virus. We should have done vent time before now, I think. Crippling shot on the little guy. Didn't quite finish him. Thank goodness we evaded that. And we'll just finish him with the portal cannon as quick as we can. Good, that's good. Now we'll breach hull on this dang thing. We're already in rough shape again. Now we got anything that exploits breached hull? No, we don't. So it's crippling shot again. We'll have to really review our fleets. Oh my god, cauterize hell on self immediately. Oh, it didn't even work that well either. Oh no. Way. Well, maybe I shouldn't be breaching hell on this guy if I don't have hull breach. It's just. Uh, we're gonna have to use our last one up on ourselves. This thing is dangerous, man. Man, it's resisting everything. It's our best damage. Looks like Flak Barrage is pretty good. Oh, this is brutal. We're gonna speed time on the Bullhogger. Which is the ship in perfect shape still. But it has the crippling shots, which are pretty nice. And we'll deconstruct it to use the cannon from the other one. Crippling shot. And then the portal cannon to exploit the deconstruct. Didn't quite finish it. Ah, uh, well, we'll just... Yeah, that should do it. Boy, we got wrecked up. But we took out the fleet guarding the uh, thingy Basler. Commander, it seems that the portal at our fleet's location dissipated as soon as we destroyed the cruel contingent guarding it. There won't be any more cruel coming from this sector. Objective complete. Close cruel porter. Officer promoted. We've got five missions, two promotions. Uh, so the materials horde is really the next big mission. Uh, I don't know if we're going to evacuate any other places right now. I think we'd better go get some fuel. These guys don't really have any, so we'll go here. They've got 20, so we'll pick up that much fuel. Hopefully we don't get attacked during that time. At least that fuel depot is safely close to home, eh? So we'll take 28 fuel. Some more got generated, so that's nice. We'll leave the system. Really glad that's right there. And okay, so we've got quite a lot of materials and other stuff. So I guess we should return. We've got our 75 crew that we brought as well. So we should definitely return. We made it. We're going to need some repairs. Massive bio readings emanate from and around, in and around New Terra, with the cruel likely using the former capital as some kind of spawning ground. Our sensors suggest the cruel have a strong fleet presence as well. Upgrading our fleet to handle the threat there would be prudent. First, you will need to construct a Tier 2 ship hangar and then build at least one Tier 2 starship before dispatching the fleet there. Holy smokes. Okay. Well... Upgrade the fleet is on the mission roster now. So this materials hoard, where is it? 
Where? Where where? Aquila? Where's Aquila? There's Aquila. Let's go get the material sword quickly. Damaged or not. Uh I don't see where we are. Oh, time got paused. Okay, we passed by the pirate fleet without getting wrecked. We've arrived at the materials horde, Commander. There appear to be some hostiles on the surface beam down. We're taking it. Oh my god. Okay, well, we got three officers. So he's going to do mass paranoia one, all enemies. Oh, deploy officers. I always forget. Mass paranoia one. I guess you can have more than one officer per ship. Okay, we confused both of them, so that's a good thing. Fledling Skrill Hatcher and oh my god, she resisted it. Juvenile Skrill Tyrant. So um, Narika's gonna do her slice and dice on the weaker monster, hopefully inflicting bleeding. And she's gonna do her Kirkish Haymaker one on the weaker monster, really hurting it. And he's gonna try to finish it with his radiation pistol. Looks like we got it. Yeah, that thing cast a barrier. She's going to use her knife on it as well now. I like her. She did a critical hit. Really messed it up. She's going to use her Kirkish Haymaker on it. Really messed it up. And he's going to try to finish it with his radiation pistol. Nice, guys. Well done. One of us got slightly wounded. Small reward for battle. Commander, we've recovered the materials. We should return to the Starbase now. You're darn tootin' we should. Return home. Oh, we're probably... The materials have been safely transported to Halcyon 6 Engineering Bay, Commander. Yeah. Objective complete. Materials hoard. Rewards 300. Materials. So we've got quite a lot of stuff. So we can do some research and some building. So let's check out this Tier 2 research right now. What's it cost us? 1800 and 1200 just to research the the hangar. Wow, man. Are you kidding me? Well, I wonder if we should try to upgrade our ships. Um, Starbase. Starship hangar tier 1. So, hold on, let's go to ship management. We've got, um, oh gosh, we can't tell the type anyway. We got Acolyte class, Rogue class, and Knight class. They all need repair, so let's spend that Dark Matter and get our ships repaired. So, confirm. Confirm. It's wasting a ton of Dark Matter, but, you know, we're not able to get her done in combat, really, to a successful degree. So, okay, Acolyte class, Rogue class, and Knight class. We are going to try for some upgrades on our existing ships before we go looking for those materials. So, let's do one upgrade for each type um, station here. If we can, if we've got the ability to do so. Derby, derby, derby. Um, I already forgot the ship classes. We've got a Knight. We've got Juggernaut and Blitzer. So, improves the hull 10%, damage 10%, night, aim, and speed plus 5. Gee, that's. Uh, that's interesting. I think we're gonna go with the Juggernaut upgrade. No, let's go with everyone's aim and speed. Let's go with that. So, let's add an officer to that. Let's add our lowest officer to that. Um, it's her own ship she's doing, actually. Time estimated two days. Nice. Oh, and then you can't do another task in here. Okay, so let's try to find another two-day task. Just to do that. Um, what can we build? Dark Matter Multiplier Diode through... Oh, so that increases the amount of Dark Matter you get when you bring in Dark Matter. That increases the amount of materials you get when you bring in materials. And this gives us power to run more rooms, the Diode Room Reactor. We're not really going to get into that right now. I think we're really desperate to get some more ships in the fleet and to get our existing ships 
kinda cranked up. Task available at the Officer Academy. Scour the Officer Cabinets. Improved learning habits. What does this do? Officers receive 10% more XP from combat. Oh, that's kinda cool. Improved officer education, really expensive. New and existing officers automatically promoted to rank Lieutenant Commander Level 4. You need a Level 7 officer to do that. Oh, Scour Officer Candidates unlocks in another officer slot. So let's put our Level 4 on that, Mr. Bathus. 12 days? Uh, forget it. We're not confirming that task. Uh, we're gonna explore and possibly end up in combat. Okay, add officer to this. Lucas Beaumont can explore. Four days, fine, confirm task. And, uh, the other one's gotta do something, but we don't want her to explore. That's a bit too harsh. We don't want to start these long tasks either. Mm, that's difficult. That's difficult. This will get us super bonuses faster. So let's put Noriko Jaeger on improving officer learning habits now. Confirm task. So that's a five day. Romulus birthing grounds. Oh my god, we sent him in there? Dude, really? We're saving game right here. On Oogie. And uh, we're just going to see what happens when we do that. We're going to get wrecked up. Let's see what happens. Okay, Commander, the Hangar Terran Tier 1 has completed its task. Show location. Awesome. So now we need to go quickly to ship management. So what did we just do? We upgraded uh, one of these ships. Yeah, we got the Blitzer upgrade on the Knight. So now we should upgrade the um, Bathyphus, the Acolyte class, I think. So back to Starbase. Uh, here, and Acolyte, Predator, Aim and Evasion, Add Officer, Edith Clarkson does this job, six days, fine, because we're going out, you know, we're going out, so now let's go run time again, we are heading out, I hope we don't have any big trouble running our way. Your crew have tracked down the Grombulus Lair acknowledged. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, all we have is cadets because everyone else is working. That was probably a mistake. This might not work. I should have grabbed someone else. I should have grabbed someone else. Okay, I'm trying to ask Little one resisted, the big one got confused. Oh my god, we're getting blasted. What? How can that even be real? These things are way too dangerous, man. That's nuts. What is going on with that? Ah, uh, that's not acceptable. This isn't gonna work. Really, you're kidding me. Pew pew. Oh man, seriously? This is nuts. Oh no, they healed? You gotta be kidding me, man. Can't even take down the little one. Okay, not nice. He seems to have resisted that, so he's gonna fire his radiation pistol on this little jerk. Okay, maybe the pew pews can take down the little one now. Come on. Um, yeah. I should probably emergency med him instead of taking down the little one. 
why can't I select it? I don't understand why I can't select that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the little one now. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't select emergency meds. It doesn't work on self, I guess. Oh, this isn't good. And it's dodging everything. Yeah, now I can heal him. Um, I think I'll heal this poor old person. And she's gonna release her neural spike attack. Which is a little machine she has. It didn't even damage it? Are you kidding me? What is going on here? Okay, that hit it. Maybe really we won't bother with the neural spike after this. Oh, and it just dodges those. Oh no, my health. Everyone's health. This is dreadful. We're in awful trouble. I can't select my emergency meds yet, so I'm gonna die. And we're gonna reload, because I'm not losing the leader. Just not losing the leader. So, yeah. I don't mind a cadet going on here. What's this? Oh, it's healing itself, the miserable thing. And I can't select emergency meds yet. Wow, this is awful, man. This thing is brutal. Juvenile Grombulus Overseer is totally going to be the boss of us here. Okay. We're emergency manning ourselves out of sheer selfishness. Well, these guys fire their pew pews. And we're going to just fire our radiation pistol. Okay, we really hit it with that one, so maybe we're going to get away with this. Let's hope. No, we missed. It'll kill that lady. Yeah, she's gone. Well, maybe he can finish it now. Yeah, he finally finished it. Wow, that was awful and we lost a crew. Your expedition crew has managed to destroy all treacherous grombuli. Awesome. At this location, the area is now ready for construction. Acknowledged. And we can build whatever, but we're not going to. So, back to station view. What have we got going on? Um, we've got one day left on improved learning habits. We've got five days left on the predator upgrade. Um, I guess that's about all the upgrades we're going to have time for. Because we're going to have to go get those materials. Um, so if we can, uh, yeah, we got a five-day activity basically. So we'll explore next to the research zone, because maybe we can uh, get in there. Lucas, you're the man. Five days. Confirmed task. Perfect. He's exploring a room. Let's hope he doesn't die. We're just going to go ahead and save game right now. That was pretty awesome. We made it. We lost a crew. Red shirt down. Turn to game and yeah, I meant to end the episode a while ago, but it's hard with this game. Commander, we have a situation at the Officer Academy. While researching key officer cognition and pedago pedagogical theory, Nariko Jaeger discovers they had re a recent ancestor who performed untoward experiments on their comrades, some of the times with horrifying results. And I can choose Nariko Jaeger dwells, dwells on it, or Nariko Jaeger takes a long space fight, flight to clear her head. She can take a space flight. She loses us five fuel acknowledged. Well, I hope it feels better for her. We've got a pirate fleet approaching, so I'm going to have to remember who was doing their tasks. Officer Academy has completed its task, acknowledged. And everyone else was exploring rooms or doing upgrades, so let's just check what that upgrade is so we don't forget. Um, predator update for the Acolyte, four days. So, we're just gonna have to go back to this and these pirates are gonna, yeah. Understood. Uh, let's get them. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Where we go? Yes, we're going to send them off even though they're busy. And we'll finish these guys right off. I hope. 
One of them is pretty heavy, the Warden Mark one there. So we're gonna bend space time on our people's uh, Apple here. Speed it up. Hopefully that's useful to us. We'll find out. Then we'll deconstruct one of these ships. These weaker ships. And I don't know what we do here, so we'll just critical blast and shot it. Yeah, we should be able to finish. We should be able to finish it, so we'll deconstruct the next ship. And hopefully the bath just gets a turn. There we are, so we'll exploit that hull breach, finish it off. Crippling shot to weaken this one. And we'll hull breach this ward mark one. Which doesn't fire heavy weapons despite being a massive ship, and then we'll exploit this. We'll, we'll finish it basically. We've already hull breached him, so... Oh, this inflicts ship disable. Let's fire it. Shock lines. Ship disabled. I like it. That should give us some time. That takes its engines down. Uh, nobody really needs regeneration yet, so... Wow, we're really doing him a ton of damage. We're gonna hull breach him again. Shot and portal cannon exploits a full breach. That takes him down to kind of a single shot. So we're gonna hull breach him again. That might kill him. Not quite. So this guy's gonna cloak. Okay, and we're gonna heal some of our lighter damage or some of our worst damage quickly here. And then finish him off. Just to save a little dark matter. I'd like more healing powers, that's for sure. Okay, let's try and get our guys back to their tasks before we forget what to do with them. So, yeah, station view. And we were upgrading... We were doing the Acolytes uh, Predator upgrade. Look, it's still highlighted. Add officer to that. I forget who was doing it, but we'll give it to Edith Clarkson. Six days? Are you kidding me? Six days? I must have put the wrong officer on it. Blast and damn, dude. I can't even remember what the other task was. I really, really want that upgrade. Well, do we want it that bad? Maybe we should take it off. Cancel task. We'll take it off. Uh, let's get out of here. I would like the upgrade, but uh, not at a cost of six days when we've got such pressing business around the galaxy. We do have a fleet of three ships. Notifications. Promotions, lots of them. Okay, we'll go through those and see what powers we can gain. And we've just got the upgrade, the fleet mission, so and the pirates, which we're gonna, we're gonna let the pirates rot for now. We did just take out a pirate fleet. We fear the worst for New Terra. It would be advisable to upgrade the fleet to tier two starships before investigating. Yeah, I got it. How do we get rid of that? Oh yeah, I just hit escape. Whoops, return to game. Uh, okay, so, yeah, that's the big deal that we've got to do. So, actually, we shouldn't spend that dark matter on upgrading anyway. We just need to get out and get stuff with our existing fleet, which is now totally all bashed to bits. So, we are going to waste the dark matter on repairing 13 dark matter for that. Uh, 13 dark matter for that. That seems to be about the minimum. Everyone's in good repair now. So we are ready for missions. Uh, we need fuel. Let's just see what our fuel depots have. 18 there and 17 there. So we'll stop at both fuel depots on the way out to gather stuff. And we will do that all next time. So let's save our game here. And I hope you guys are having a good day, night, 
whatever time it is where you are right now. And I hope you enjoyed our little jaunt through the stars today. We didn't get too far. We built a new ship and we lost an officer, gained an officer. We're doing okay. Um, so until next time, bye for now.